This video talks about the court martial arraignment process. So the next part of the process in a court martial is you go to an arraignment. And what an arraignment is, is essentially notice from the government, notice from the judge, that now you've moved from the referral portion, which was in front of the division uh, GCMCA, and now you've moved over so your case is controlled by the judge. Most things legal in the military run off a script, and the judge's bench book is what the judges follow and the attorneys follow when going through the procedural guide to an arraignment or an Article 39A session. The first thing that you're going to be walked through by the judge is your attorney selection. So your right to counsel is really important, and if you have either a military defense counsel or civilian defense counsel, the judge is going to make you have to select them there on the record. The next thing the script calls for is forum selection. And what this means is choosing whether it's going to be a military judge alone or some type of panel, either enlisted or officer. But usually at the arraignment stage, you're going to defer or hold that decision off for a later time until after motions are made. In the modern days, since the new rules, basically what we're generally having to do is we're generally having to make a pleading of not guilty or getting up there and making a formal plea of not guilty. And then later, if there's a deal, we change it farther on down the line. You are now in a place where you're before the court, you've been properly notified of the charges, you have your attorney there, and so if you were to go AWOL at this point, they can still have the trial in what's called absentia. In other words, they can go forward with the trial even if you're not there. Next, you'll move on to motions and trial. 